Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the HTC One M8. Now, uh, this is the AT&T version, so it might be some slight differences, but the overall theme will be correct. Now, as always, you want to make sure to set up a device where you have Wi-Fi. If you do not have Wi-Fi, I don't recommend usually setting up the device there. So, when you get started, the first thing it's going to ask you is for the Wi-Fi uh, locations around you. And uh, this will allow us to basically sync up everything from our old uh, Android devices to the new one. So I'm just going to connect right here and then type in the password. And then once we've done that, we will connect to the Wi-Fi. And then we will go next. And then we will log into our Gmail account. Um, if you do not have a Gmail account, I do recommend you do create one now, as this will be the only way you can actually access the Google Play Store, which is where you get all of your apps. So I'm just going to hit yes here and then sign in. And then once we sign in, we will be able to back up and restore. And this can take some time as well. Google Plus, by the way, is something I do recommend you do add on as well. Simply for that is the main way I tend to back up all of my photos when I have a device. You can also add your Facebook from here, other accounts, anything you want to add. If you do have a uh, AOL, Yahoo, or um, Outlook, or Hotmail email, I do recommend that not only do you add the account, but download that app from the Google Play Store, as that's always better than the built-in email app. It just uh, syncs so much better with their own app that they have. And then we will go next. And then for at t it just checks off to make sure we did everything correctly. And then we should hit next. And then for at t we can back up our photos. We do not want to do that for right now. And then it just lets you know about the HTC Advantage uh, program. And we don't have mobile data for this, so we might just do that later. And what's the name of the phone? Uh, I do recommend changing the name as this will be the default name for everyone's screen. So let's just go with Android Guy 1M8. And there we go. And you, as you can see, it actually has my background from my previous phone. Um, and it'll uh, explain everything about Blink Feed to you now. All right. If you guys have any questions about the HC One, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. And if you did find this helpful, please give a like, thumbs up as well. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.